there have been series of protests in Ghana and there have been also reports of kidnapping in Ghana and Ghanaians have mixed reactions about this. Some say it's actually foreigners that are bringing this culture of kidnapping into Ghana while some pointing fingers at Nigerians saying this one, it's our Nigerian people that are bringing kidnapping into Ghana. And also, we're talking about Ghanaians denying Brakofi, saying they never accepted him in their country, that he is a Nigerian, and that he's just doing Ghanaian content to get popularity and views. If you're a Ghanaian watching this video, what is going on? The rate of kidnapping in Ghana, what is going on? Give us a situation report of your area in the comment section. I'm Delicious Army. You're welcome to my channel over here. I talk about Ghana, Nigeria, South Africa, all the issues, you know, affecting African countries and all that good stuff. So do well by liking the video. Do well by subscribing to the channel. So there have been mixed reactions from Ghanaians and them, you know. Many of them, this news of kidnapping has not sit down well with a lot of them, especially on social media. But some are saying that while Ghanaians pretend the ones on social media that this has not been a fundamental issue many saying that this has been happening just that um, on social media they tend to cover it up and i'm like wow that is i don't know what to say about that i'll be playing two different videos of people complaining about kidnapping in ghana so let me play this um you know set of videos for you to watch and also hear what this um, woman has to say of her son who went missing last week has been found let's listen to her now she said that uh, these videos on kidnapping that uh, you know the son watched it and there uh, you know it has been able to also educate her and also educate other parents in ghana about the high rates of kidnapping and then um, one thing i want people to know Ghanaians to know any other person that come across this video is that every country has that element of bad people in it and in every assembly in every circle in every group there is always that person that has this probability to do evil that is why i always call on societies i always call on communities to call out evil when they see it so Ghanaians, you people also have those set of bad eggs that are in your country that are making things not work well and they are not necessarily foreigners see the moment when you you know you leave your fundamental issue and start blaming everything on foreigners that is where you get it wrong the moment you take self-accountability and say okay i think it's some of our boys that are just doing this to make money then you can tackle the root issue that's why I always say over here, when, when they say Nigerian do, they don't come and say, oh, Nigerian did not do it. No, what do I do? I hold my people accountable. And I tell them, stop it. Stop portraying us in a light that will not speak well of us. So that is just because I was seeing when people say, oh, it's Nigerians. I was like, what has Nigerians got to do with this? This one says, Ghanaians must be careful of Nigerians in Ghana, okay? I'm like, ah, ah, for what? The other one says, Nigeria must go, he's definitely coming. Can you imagine? The other one says, um... You are exaggerating. Is your title for clicks? What kind of exaggeration is this? We live in Ghana here. We have not heard of kidnapping. Getting kidnapped in Ghana is very, very rare. And that, and if that happens, it becomes a national problem because it hardly happens. So now it is happening. I hope the Ghanaian make it a national problem and bring all the corporates to books. This one says, um, if you if you know what you're saying is true, then you shouldn't then it should have been in the newspapers phonics tv and even radio but i'll be playing a video of a man who granted an interview in a radio station who said he's a radio presenter sorry a tv presenter saying his experience and how he was almost kidnapped he said yes getting to the elections you have to be extremely careful but saying high rate of kidnapping in ghana is absurd if ghana has high rate of kidnapping what will you name nigeria own? this is the problem instead of you to face the fundamental issue your country is having you are comparing it to nigeria that's why i always say we will never get it right until we treat ourselves as a separate entity tackle our problems and stop looking for who to put those blames on this one said um there's a, there's a higher rate of kidnapping in nigeria let's be realistic i'm like what has nigeria got to do with what is happening in ghana this one says um please you are misleading the public the high rate of kidnapping in ghana is by nigerians and it is high 
but not what you put in nigerians are the one bringing the high rate of kidnapping to ghana we are not kidnappers in this country please we don't we don't kidnap human it is your citizens that tag our name to the wrongdoings nigerians are doing it's a it's thing that tag um, our names to the wrongdoings Nigerians are doing in Ghana. This one say, Madam, it is your own people. And I'm like, what, what, what is this? If there's a fundamental problem, address it. If there's a problem in your country, address it. Don't look for who to put blames on. You might not like what I'm saying, but I'm telling you the truth. The government of Ghana should do their investigations. You will never see us Nigerians come and say, oh, it is the Ghanaians in Nigeria that are causing this, that are causing that. Or the other nationals in Nigeria. That the ones causing this, of course, that we tackle it. We tell ourselves the truth. Our people will not try. You understand? That way, when we tackle it and set the very hard truth, we cannot bring in solutions. Please feel free to drop your own opinions in the comment section. Let's listen to uh, this Iman that calls himself a radio presenter and hear what he has to say about his, uh, you know, kidnapping experience in Ghana. I left home and was heading towards Atomi Junction. Okay. He came behind me. He said to me, he came Mm. Like, this side of the back. Mm. In fact, I sat in front because the other guy was sitting at the back. Okay. They took me to Jolo. Wow. Yes. <laughs> do the car like this, do the car like this, do the car like this. Go ahead and Jolo. Get what, what saved me. Sometimes they will tell you that, um, Andy, my mother called me and said, if anyone gives me a lift, I shouldn't take it. Mm. You, heard, you heard what he said. That what saved him was the message his mother gave him before that experience. That his mother said, um, do, if somebody gives you a lift, do not take it. Oh, God bless all the beautiful mothers around the world who always look out for their children. Just imagine he did not have a prayerful mother or a mother that always stands in the gap for him. This is how this newscaster would have gone and nobody would know where he went to till today. So I think this is becoming a rising issue in Ghana and Ghanaians should tackle it. Every country has those things that are happening that they are not proud of. But it is how you tackle it. It is how you arrest the situation while it is still fresh. That will now determine what will happen in the future. Let's quickly talk about Bracofi. In my other video, I said Ghanaians have officially um, you know, accepted Bracofi as their own. And somebody came to say uh, Bracofi has not been accepted by Ghanaians. That Ghanaians do not know him. That he's just doing Ghanaian content to promote himself. And I was like, hey, please don't deny Bracofi. Bracofi has now become one of you. He's enthusiastic about um, Ghana. He talks good about Ghana. He brings Ghana's culture, Ghana's tradition in a good way. Please do not come and say, oh, Bracofi is not one of you. Because even here in Nigeria, he's having issues with Nigerians because of his Ghanaian content. Now imagine when Ghanaians now say, oh, you're not part of us. How do you want him to feel? He will now be stuck. No nationality. Please, let's not do that to Bracofi. Bracofi so far has been giving us good Ghana content, putting Ghana in the right light. Just accept him. Because Ghanaians that I know are people that, are, you know, they are, they are, they, they are set people. They treat people like their own so long as you are good to them so please let's stop that opinion or that narrative of uh, you're not accepting prakofi that prakofi is just doing his own content for money it won't be nice so that's just it my beautiful people do all by liking the video do all by subscribing to the channel drop your own opinions in the comment section i'm delicious army i'll see you in my next one guys bye bye